Hi, good evening all and thank you so much for joining today's exclusive webinar. My name is Ashish Asthana. So today we are doing this exclusive webinar on the new product feature, new offerings that we have come up with. It was uh, many of our customers have already requested and demanded to add this feature, right? So today we have added this feature and this webinar we are doing exclusively for the know-how of this uh, of the entire process. What exactly is basket order? What is bracket order? and how do you uh, use a trailing stop loss i'm sure many of you are already aware but there are still many set of customers who are still unsure uh, would like to know because in this session not only we would be discussing the concept of these orders how it will be beneficial definitely these orders are there in place and in markets as well but it is very very important for us to know when one should use it how you should use it and how you can get benefited so all that we are for that we have mr gaurav with us who is our product manager right and also we will be seeing the navigation part that from where and how you can place the order so just for information at present it is available on our m powered that's our website trading portal on mobile app it is not yet there but yes you can place orders from your relationship managers on offline mode you can do that right so today we will be showing you how you can access these products online these features online so gorak over to you if you can just you know let our viewers know what exactly is the concept of of, of a basket order uh, thank you ashish thank you very much uh, so um, you know first of all you know good evening everyone uh, so we will be covering three main uh, you know kind of an order new product feature that we have recently have been introduced so first of all is the the basket order the second is the bracket order and second and the third one is the trailing stop loss so starting with the basket order you know, what happens in the basket order basically is you can place a multiple order like the buy or the sale at a single go so that is you know uh, most of the time we have got a lot of query from the client that you know we place a multiple order it's a very time consuming process so what happened with the basket order is that basically you can save a lot of time you can even create a basket of market so that is something the great advantage that is there for you and it is there for all the products so you can do it for the cash e margin and even for the uh, the option or the feature and options job okay so, so in future and option uh, also investors can place the order absolutely, absolutely okay that's that's so great. and you can place the buy and the sale order so if you already have a position in the market you can uh, you know, put a selling order at a target for that if you want to make a new position in the market you can place a new buy order so this is the main brief of the basket order right uh, so what we will do ashish we will also you know uh, just keep the client the brief uh, show them how to place an order yes yes so, definitely we should show them on the screen right yeah so we i'll share my computer screen so that you get to know from where you can place basket order just to summarize as uh, gorov have already informed it's a basket of uh, it's one basket under which you can have multiple orders which can be buy or sell in nature it can be across products right so in you in one basket you can add as many as 15 orders that's the limitation and you can create five different baskets all together maximum of five baskets so 75 orders at a glance on the go you can have it through this feature right so over to my computer screen so that i can show you how to place the order so this is our logged in portal empowered you have to log on to website hdfcsec.com once you log into the portal uh, uh, you will you need to you will get this login section which is empowered you need you can simply need to click on cursor on equity and the second last option you can see as basket order you click on it this way it will appear wherein you can simply go here and you can create a basket this i have already created one basket if you want you can create a new basket so let me just create one right and then i need to click on save my basket have been successfully created now here i can add stocks or i can go for derivative product so let's say buy exchange let me select as nac right i can go with intraday order or i can go with delivery order i can simply put in the name of the company order type whether it's going to be limit or market quantity how much you want to place right and validity and then you can click on add order add order so, so similar way ashish you can put up as you said uh, up to 15 orders in one basket Right. and uh, you know as we have already told you know we have a facility of equity and the derivative order also 
to put in a basket order. And then you can simply need to click on save basket and then place order. Here the bot on the bottom, it would be option of place order. Once you place it, it will hit to the market and your conditions are met, the orders will keep getting executed. Exactly. So it saves a lot of time if you see on a macro level, multiple orders, whether it is a buy order, whether it is a sell order, uh, these things which you want to put across, you can uh, access it. Right. And and Gaurav, it is available for all the products as you mentioned. Yeah, yeah, it's available for all the product. And again, you know, uh, the most important feature of the basket order is that you know it will save a lot of time for you. Let's suppose you know many, many of our client are working client, they work from nine to five. They cannot do so much time during the market hour. They cannot place a lot of orders. So what they can do, you know, after market hour, they can create and basket. They can you know prepare the entire whatever the order they want to place it on the next day itself and they can as for that they can you know create a basket and next day they just have to click on a submit button so this is the main feature of a basket order uh, again you know there are multiple feature multiple uh, benefit of it for many other reasons also the client can use it but this is one of the main feature for which the client should use it right 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 now let's move to the uh, next type of order that we have which is called bracket order so Gaurav what is bracket order all about yeah so you know again this is uh, some of the requests that we have got it from many clients so we had this cover order for a very long time ago and the bracket order is nothing but actually an extension of a cover order right so what happened in a cover order is you have an you buy the stock or you say short sell the stock in a market price and you keep in stop loss for that in bracket order what the special feature that is also available with us is that you also keep a target for it so you have a stop loss also you have a target for your uh, open position whichever you know price hit first either the target or the stop loss the next order will get get executed it will get a cancel on your target so let's suppose the stock moves up and hit your target so your stop loss order will get will get cancelled so basically it's you know uh, it's there for the client who want to do a very systematic way of intraday trading it's only for the intraday or uh, the as it is order. extension of cover order exactly right exactly. right it's right. only for the intraday it's only in the lc exchange it's basically only for the stock which are eligible in the uh, cover order in cover order so basically for the bracket order you can create more discipline in your trading you can uh, keep a target you can set a target also with the stop loss another feature that has come in the bracket order is a trailing stop loss also so we will cover all that part also. Ashish, we can just share the screen. With us. Sure. Now we will share the screen for uh, bracket order. As uh, Gaurav have rightly mentioned, it helps you to uh, put uh, your target price as well. And if it hits it, so you simply book the profit, which is, I think, amazing. So yes, uh, right here. Let me share the screen. And, uh, here we go. So now in order to place, say, for example, I'm taking this stock. I just simply click on buy. Right. And right here, we can see this option. And we can select the exchange as NSE, which is by default selected, right? And we need to click on cover. Cover. Once you click on cover, then only you will get an option of uh, bracket order. Yeah. You click on cover it because it is an extension of cover. Then here you will be able to see bracket. So put the bracket, enter the quantity, enter the. So once you have entered the quantity, now you know the most interesting part is let's suppose the current LTP of uh, this Wipro is going on at 249.60, and you you know want to keep a target of 255. So what will happen? This is you can see the book profit price. You just just have to enter 255 over here. So this will be your target price. Similarly, as I told you before, you can also keep your stop loss. So your stop loss, whatever your stop loss will be, you can put it over here. Sales trigger price. Let's, I'm just assuming it. Your stop loss will be 244 rupees, so you will keep 244, and that's it. Uh, this is the optional feature, uh, trailing. Whether you want your stop loss to trail or not, that will be depend on you. So just to take an example, first of all, we will not select trailing stop loss. So this will be the normal basket order with target. Target will be 255 rupees. Stop loss will be 244. 244 is the trigger price of our selling order. So my order will go at the market at 244 and it will get triggered between 244 to 241.55 level. Target will be 255 and the buying will be obviously the market price will be somewhere around 
Right. Okay. So this is a simple. Ashish, this is a simple. Absolutely target. simple. I mean to say, if 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 at all my target achieves, it will execute it. Yeah. Right. If at all, if it is under the falling event, if the market is falling, it will ensure it limits my loss yeah. and it will uh, uh, just uh, book the limited loss only. Exactly. So my loss will not be too high in this scenario, yeah. which is generally our cover order. Exactly. But the added feature out here we have uh, we have given is adding a book profit option yeah right so the book profit option is the number one uh, first point which makes this order as a bracket order wherein you are entering your relevant price at which you wish to book profit because again you would be busy you would be occupied yeah. so you are unable to track the market you need to limit the loss but at the same time you need to ensure that you book the profit so you did the same i am extremely sorry the screen have just got locked out i'll quickly log in So that was something amazing that instantly I have uh, booked my profit, right? Now within the feature itself, we have a trailing stop loss functionality also available within the bracket order. Bracket order. However, yeah. trailing stop or stop loss, we have a different sell for sell orders also you can place separately, yeah. which we will talk in, in just uh, uh, about a minute's time. But now let us show you first in this itself how this will work out, right? So I'll simply select this as cover. I have put in my quantity as 100 and I have put in my trigger at 244 right and my book profit was 255 if it hits 255 I will book the profit and uh, the uh, stock will square it off now one more question here Gaurav it may come what if stock does not hit stop loss what if stock does not hit the target price if it is between that yeah very then what question. will happen very good question ashish you know many of the client are also be curious to know about that so you know it's as uh, we have already covered it's in cover order it's an intraday order so what will happen in normal scenario that your intraday order will get square off at 3 uh, pm uh, just half an hour before the market had closed so in case you know your order would remain pending and the target which is 255 in this particular case all your stop loss which is 244 if you know none of the order got hit what will happen at, at 3 pm whatever is the price that price uh, the order will get executed at that particular price and both your target and stop loss will get cancelled also you know client have an option to modify their order also they can modify their target and stop loss even during the day uh, by going in their order book uh, one thing you know which uh, they will not see so we will cover that part also uh, so once the you know, client have selected a training stop loss they will in the order book they will only see the price that they have set up in the training stop loss now obviously training stop loss the stop loss will move ahead as the market goes up but they will not see that particular modification in the normal order book for that they have to go and select particular TSL limit and only there they can see the current price of an order so we will cover the trailing part also. Ashish, right. so, so this is available here, but let's first try to understand what is trailing stop loss order and how it will be beneficial for you. Yeah. So what will happen in a trailing stop loss? Let's suppose you have bought a stock at 249 rupees. Now we broke current price is 249. You have bought it at a market price. You have kept a target of 255 and a stop loss at 244. Now what you want that you know as the market moves in your favor, let's suppose market moves one rupees up from 249 to 250 to 51. You want your stop loss also to move by the same ratio so what will happen in that case you have to just select over here trail at market right so what will happen as the market move up even by let's say five pesa ten pesa your stop loss which we have kept over here 244 rupees that will also start to move up with the same ratio same, same number so if the rate goes up from 249.60 to 250 to 51 in the same way one rupees two rupees the stop loss will also start to move up what will happen you know, in that case if the market moves up rapidly in your direction you have your loss cover so it will not be that you know in case market again goes goes against your direction your stop loss will now not be a 244 or whatever the current stop loss will be as per current trading stock. So if at all it goes to say for example 250 and from 250 automatically your stop loss is get revised to 248 just for an example and from 250 if it starts going down it is not like that it will wait for 244 at 248 it will exit and book the problem. Yeah exactly. So in this way your stop loss gets updated as the market moves in your favor. And any given point of time, if it goes down any which way, it is limiting your loss and it will be exiting. I think that we can show it through the graph as well. Yeah, we yeah. can. And another you know, important thing that this is an optional order, optional feature. So, you know, it's not necessary that by selecting a bracket order, you guys have to select trailing stop loss. 
you can obviously depend on you if you want this feature to use you can just tick mark it otherwise you can leave it blank. otherwise you can leave it blank. so we will use the graph Ashish. Uh, graph and we will show how actually to, uh, this stop trailing stop loss orders usually uh, if i'm not wrong we, we use it for sell orders right uh, yeah so the normal trailing stop loss we can use it mostly for the selling order if you already have a position but we will explain them also regarding the normal bracket order position right so that we have already shared so this is the sell order so here the exchange the details are already uh, filled up I simply uh, need to click on additional details and then now in this scenario I am assuming I already hold this stock yeah okay so let's let's take an example of some other stock let's say Titan I am already holding Titan say about 100 quantity right I have and now I want to sell it off in today's uh, but ensuring that my I should limit my loss so I need to click on additional details and here is trail orders i click on it yeah so here all i need to enter uh, this uh, this check mark is already there yeah i will enter my price uh, quality. sorry quantity i have about 100 shares for example that's it so again the logic goes the same right uh you already have a position in titan that we are doing that mm -hmm. and you want to, to use a trading stop loss order just to exit from your existing position exactly okay now what will happen the current price is going on at 1374.55 so if you want to book a profit at uh, 1395 so we will keep a price at 1395 at your book profit price <laughs> now at what price the minimum you want to book a profit so you know in case the market move against you what is the price that at minimum you price at which exit. yeah minimum price at which you want to exit so you can keep over here uh, i'm just taking for example so 1374 is the current price i'm keeping it at 1344 so that's it i can select a discount you don't have to do that and the order will go through uh, so what will happen in this scenario again guys um, 1395 is the price if the stock moves in your direction you already have a buying position in this case in this case so if the market moves in your direction 1395 is the price at which your selling order will get executed in case market moves against your direction 1344 is the price at which your uh, order will get executed now again since we have second uh, taken the trading stop loss in case market started to move up in your direction the current price is 1374 if market start to go up by Five rupees, ten rupees. Your stock plus, which is at thirteen forty-four, will also start to move up to the same number. Right. So it will so, go to one three four eight, one three five zero, depending upon the rate on which the market, uh, the price of this particular stock is going up. Going up. Exactly. So again, uh, this is mostly trading stop loss. You can use it. Uh, it's a single leg order, non normal trading stop loss order. So you can use it uh, if you already have a position. But then again, it's up to you. Even you can use it for the freshly, uh, even to enter into a position. Another important thing is that the book profit price, which is 1395, is an optional price. So it's not like you have to keep it. So just you know, I'm assuming is that suppose you have a stock position in Titan Communication, mm -hmm. and there is an event day. Okay, actually, so there's an event day, and right. uh, uh, there's some news gonna come up, or there's some kind of a big moment that you are expecting it in the market. And the current price is 1374. Now you believe that you know 1350 is a price that is kind of a technically very support level. If it goes below it, I don't want to remain into it. I will book whatever profit I am getting it. But if it's going in my direction, I want to you know hold it for the entire day. So what you will do, you will not keep any book profit price over here. You will just put a 1344 and then trigger uh, selling trigger price and that's it only so, stop loss price i have to enter exactly so, so that as as and when the stock keeps moving my uh, stop loss will keep updating keep updating and uh, i can at the moment it reaches to the highest level and from there if it is going down it will cut off at the stop loss level which uh, exactly, whichever exactly so I, I think in the, case you know in case it moves in our direction it's well you know well good for us you know you will end the day at whatever price you want you can manually also modify the order right so right here uh, this graph is there Gaurav if you can explain to our investors how this will work you know? yeah so again so you know we have created this uh, we just uh, selected this graph of IDC bank just to uh, give you an example of both the order the bracket order as well as for the trading stop loss order what happened in the bracket order is basically you know uh, we buy at this particular price mm -hmm. yeah so this particular price uh, is at which we can buy it yeah and at the top you can see the target price that we can set up so this is the target price yeah and below here is then our stop loss order stop loss order okay now if now this is the normal bracket order now if you are selecting the trailing stop loss order with the bracket order what will happen we have an option that our stop loss which means you went down 
it will start to move up as the market goes if through. this price keeps increasing like this yeah. like this so this stop loss which is here will gradually start moving up in proportion to the increase in the rate exactly so in this way your stop loss will get updated and from here there are two things can happen either it will still go further it will hit your target exactly if you have already mentioned book profit price it will execute yeah if you have not entered your book profit price it will keep going up and your stop loss will keep getting updated yeah so bracket in bracket order we will obviously have to keep a uh, book profit yeah price. in bracket order yeah. we have to yeah. keep because yeah. it is exclusively for it yeah. is an extension of our order yeah but this can be placed even for your existing holding yeah. it is purely a sell uh, i am talking about as gorov mentioned you can place in buy order also uh, you, uh, for a fresh entry also but this i am talking exclusively for your existing holding for the day right similarly this price will keep going stop loss will keep updating now by any chance if this goes down and if it hits your stop loss price it will get triggered thank you so instead of that order getting triggered here it will get triggered here if the stop loss price is here right so what will happen this kind of a potential upside which you have unlike missed if you would have not placed this one. yeah so this is the main benefit of the normal trailing stop loss order and similarly uh, you know for the basket order you can also you know since it's mandatory to keep and target in a uh, bracket order but what you can also do is you can keep a larger target so even in uh, the event kind of the scenario you can still make a larger profit super fantastic so i think that's all for now we are open for q and a yeah any questions you have friends please ask we'll be happy to answer so let's see what questions we are getting okay so first question we are getting from mr abhijit he is asking uh, can we do the same with our mobile application uh, uh mr abhijit i am extremely sorry to inform at present it is not available this is a new offering this is a new feature that we have added very soon definitely uh, it will be available on our mobile app but as of now it is available only on empowered which is our website trading portal on that it is available and alternatively you can call up your rm also and you can place offline order that is also available. so next question is with ameya he is asking can you please explain with the concept that trading stock loss with the example so ameya you know as we have already covered um, you know in case you already have a position in a particular stock let's suppose you already have a 100 quantity in hsc bank just to give an example and you are expecting some kind of a big moment in the day or even without a moment you want to you know set a minimum target uh, for your holding and then you want to play the entire day if you have a bullish view so what you can do um, you know let's suppose the current price is going already 1600 so 1500 uh, or 1500 1550 is the stop loss order that you can put it and uh, you know if the market goes in your favor your stop loss will keep going up at the same rate so this is a normal feature of our trading stop loss and again you have a book profit feature also which is optional so you can keep it or you can just you know uh, either you can keep a book profit order or you can just keep it open right so the next question we are having mr chandrashekar is asking uh, are bracket orders for fno as or, or no uh, yeah so it's there for a future stocks uh, not there for an option obviously as of now but it's there for a future and for all the cash stocks uh, not there in option mr arun is asking is it available for normal future order yeah of course yeah. Uh, it is available is it possible with mobile app mr kuntal i have already explained at present it is not it is available through empower trading port miss neha is asking can i get this link which link ma'am you are talking about when it will be available very sure once uh, it will be updated on all the uh, all other platforms we will be intimating this is a new offering and this is a first exclusive awareness webinar that we are doing today so definitely going forward we will be doing further more uh, these sessions uh, any queries any questions you have you are most welcome we'll be more than happy to let you know Okay, Mr. Rajiv Goel is asking quite interesting question. Please excuse me my ignorance as I am a beginner. What kind of account I need to open to trade? I have a bank account in HDFC Bank. So, Mr. Rajiv, you simply log on to HDFCSEC.com. That's HDFCSEC. HDFCSEC.com. Just follow my screen. 
so this is our website and right here you can give a request for opening your dmat and trading account savings account you already have here you can see this open trading account you can click on this link and enter your details our expert sales team will get in touch with you and help you get your account open instantly right once your account is open then you are most welcome you can uh, start uh, using uh, start your investment journey with multiple products and uh, we have for all the beginners we uh, for the video calls for the advanced customers we have multiple range of products and services available along with the multiple platforms let's see the next question considering the time constraint we'll be able to take maybe couple of more okay next question coming from mr sanjay chari he is asking are cover orders applicable for options also uh, no sanjay i the plan not uh, whether i told you already is applicable for future and for cash market some of the uh, investors have asked uh, where this chart was available sir it was available under pro terminal the chart what i have shown you right so it is a, a pro terminal is a advanced trading platform with hdfc securities you can explore that so krishna i have asked you know can we use it for cash and carry and day trading obviously you can uh, the trading stop loss feature you can use it for the cash and carry portion also uh, especially you know uh, the trading stop loss and also the the basket order feature you can obviously use it for the cash and carry portion Amaya is asking, can I buy only at a market for a bracket order? Yeah, Amaya. So the first leg will always go in the market. Whether you are buying it or you are short selling it, the first leg will go at a market. Yeah, the limit will be your target, and you will then have a trigger price and then stop loss order. But the first leg will always be the market order. uh many questions we are getting uh, in terms of we have joined in late we have missed up the earlier part so not to worry you can uh, simply log into this link or you can click on this link after an hour and you can watch the entire session from the beginning the recording would be uploaded on the same registration link after an hour's time and you can watch it right and alternatively we are also available on youtube you simply need to go to youtube type hdfc securities and subscribe to our channel subscribe to our twitter handle as well so that you stay updated with the latest news and the updates that we come across about the markets and other uh, tutorials or webinar sessions that we have so uh, you need to go to uh, youtube uh, of hdfc securities under that uh, there is an option of playlist click on playlist select the playlist of webinars 190 videos of different topics are uploaded already out there you know you can explore and you can uh, you know uh, get your knowledge levels up out there so as it has been asked by miss uh, freni she was asking uh, what all sessions do we have training sessions do we have so there we have if you have newly opened the account how to begin your investment journey with us depending upon your risk appetite depending upon your interest area we have multiple uh, options available so have a look and i'm sure it will be of great use last question for the day so we will take a last question uh, in uh, so this question has come from varia uh, you know in trailing order if the market goes down and then how does it work so again you know we have already kept in you know one minimum position and one downward position yeah which is the trailing order and the target the book profit target is an optional one so if the in case in the market goes against us we have a buy position and the market goes down you already have a level downside decided at which your order will get executed so if the current price is going at 100 rupees and you have already kept 94 rupees or 95 rupees as a stop loss order then trading stop loss order so you know, that will be the minimum price at which it will get executed if in you know, a market goes in your favor from 100 to 100 to 102 in that case only the 95 order will move up to 96 97 98 so that is the extra beneficial part that is there but you will you always have that particular thing a 95 order pending for you in case market move against you you have something to save yourself so that is what it was uh, quite interesting things and definitely we will be keep coming up with more such sessions so always stay tuned download our mobile application that is where we send notification of the webinars the upcoming training sessions or any any modules we had uh, uh, planned for so do download our mobile application right so thank you so much for joining in uh, this evening and uh, thank you uh, gaurav for thank joining you, in thank you ashish for I think yeah was, of course it was a great session wonderful session in traffic have so many you know questions coming up but uh, due to the time constraint we are unable to answer but yeah we will take it up and we will ensure that next time or uh, in the next session we will uh, we will cover it all right so i wish you all have a great evening ahead uh, happy diwali in advance and always have a fruitful trading time thank you thank you guys